We are heading into ROFC 16B, everyone. First order of business, as always, is Team Flare Counts. These are the old Team Flare Counts from when I released ROFC 16A. Let's see if Aris Valai will be caught, or if he will extend his lead. Only one more person joined Team Flares. Also, Ed King actually lost a supporter, and Anonymous and Object Show author are starting to gain a bit more relevance. I received two more pieces of ROFC fan art. Aren't they beautiful? By the way, if you want your art featured in an ROFC episode, be sure to submit to the Discord in the hashtag art channel. That's where I'll be looking for art. Anyway, the 16th prompt is, what prize should first place in this prompt get? Keep in mind that first place in this prompt gets his or her own prize. All six of you responded to that prompt. 56 voters cast 668 votes. Each response got between 54 and 56 votes, and the average response got 55.67 votes. Now let's drive on into the results. So, you'll notice that the scale on the average bar is quite small. That's because the scores the voters gave responses this prompt were not very impressive. So yeah, prepare for that. Ed King, because of your huge lead, anything 5.808 or better will be a guaranteed pass into ROFC 17. Ed's better response is... 2,000 points. Anything more would be considered OP. I think 2,000 points is a pretty modest prize for this point in the game, Ed. It's definitely not OP, but it isn't necessarily underpowered either because some contestants are less than 2,000 points apart. If Arx the Lion had 2,000 more points, he would be in 4th place above Object Show Author. Alien Duke 321 would also rise a rank with 2,000 more points. Anyway, let's see how your response fared. Five point seven eight six. You missed the mark by a mere zero point zero two two. Even though you're not guaranteed safe in the ROFC seventeen, Anonymous needs an eight point four three four to be safe, which is borderline impossible, especially with this many voters. So Ed King is technically safe in the ROFC seventeen, but will he win the prompt? We can only judge the other responses to find out. Anonymous is second up. As mentioned earlier, you need an almost impossible 8.434 to be safe. We should go ahead and declare Ed King safe, but come on, this is ROFC we're talking about. Anything can happen. The scale could be much longer than this in reality. Anyway, Anonymous better response is, they receive 5,000 points from a random contestant. This is an interesting prize. I'm not sure if we've had a prize that has directly hurt a contestant before. Plus, I don't think this would be too OP. 5,000 points at this stage of ROFC is the equivalent of a 1 point increase or decrease in your score. Actually, since this affects two contestants, it might actually be a bit OP. The overall effect is 10,000 points of change in that case. Then again, 12-3 have the prize of giving 5% boosts, which was similar and didn't turn out to be too OP. Let's see what the voters think of this prize. The voters think this prize is worthy of a 5.545. That isn't too bad, but it isn't enough to beat Ed King. So, Ed King, you're safe into ROFC 17. Now let's see how Alien Duke 321 does. Alien Duke 321 is next. Because of your proximity to Anonymous on the leaderboard, you just need to beat him or her by a mere 0.024 rating points to be safe. That's 5.569 if you're wondering. Alien Duke 321's better response is Triple Response Prize. We have such boring lives. We have such boring lives indeed, Alien. Considering the, well, boringness of this prize, I'd actually be kinda surprised if this response made it into the safe zone. But maybe the omission of boredom is enough to entice the voters. Let's see. Wow, it's enough to be guaranteed safe in the ROFC 17. That means you're back in second place on the leaderboard. However, you miss Ed King's score by a mere 0.036 rating points. 
Unlike Alien Dupree 2-1, you, Object Show Offer, don't have proximity to Anonymous or Alien Dupree 2-1, the people just above you on the leaderboard. Because of this, you need a score that is so high it doesn't fit on the chart in order to be guaranteed safe in ROFC 17. You just need to hope that this response was better than Samer Gamer's or RX the Lion's response. I suggest a triple response prize due to the ranks. Basically the same response as Alien Dupree 321. However, you didn't admit the boredom of the prize. Will this cause the voters to vote your response low for being a worse lookalike, or will it be higher up for presenting itself better than Alien Dupree 21's response? Let's find out. Slightly worse than Alien Dude 321, but slightly better than Anonymous. However, you're still more than 5,000 points behind Anonymous. It'll have some catching up to do in later ROFC prompts. Unlike Anonymous and Object Show Author, your safe area actually shows up on the chart, Samer Gamer. You need a 5.595, which would put you in the middle of the pack to be guaranteed safe in the ROFC 17. Otherwise, your safety will lie in the hands of Arx Goliath. Your better response is, they would get Mario Bros. AA for their flair team. That's actually a cool prize. I've been mostly indifferent for between the contestants up to now, so this will give me someone to root for. Plus, that someone will have done well in this prompt, so they get that bonus as well. It would also give a small boost in the ROFC Discord team flare counts, so there's also that. Let's see what the voters think. Whoa, that's greater than any other score we have revealed so far. It seems I might be converting to hashtag Team Samer, unless Arx the Lion's response is even better. And he'll need it to be better because of Samer Gamer's stellar performance. Rx the Lion needs a 5.927 to earn his safety into ROFC 17 and eliminate Object Show Author. That's no Samer Gamer score, but it's still a very high score. May the voters be in your favor, Rx, with this response. The winner will get the satisfaction of doing well. This response translates to no prize. I guess you don't care about prizes and only care about avoiding elimination. Let's see if you did. Oh no! All those tens from the voters weren't enough. Arx the Lion, you were the winner in the first prompt. Your score of 6.2 gave everyone someone to look up to. However, a 4.917 in ROFC2 got you 15th place, but you remain powerful with your 30% boost prize. You then got 4th place with a 5.065 in ROFC 3, a 4.382 in ROFC 4 was 13th, and a 3.279 in ROFC 5 was last place, 20th. You then had a run of good results in ROFC 6 through 8, including a victory in ROFC 7 that got you a random boost in ROFC 8. You then, however, got 11th in ROFC 9 despite a 5.354 and 7th in ROFC 10 with a 4.852. You then bounced back with a 6.8581 in ROFC 11. That was 4th place. You then got 5.261, 8th in ROFC 12, 5.167, 5th in ROFC 13, and 5.196, 3rd in ROFC 14. You then did very badly in with last place in ROFC 15 despite a 5.333. And here, the bunching of the scores meant 5.732 wasn't enough to keep you safe. Goodbye, Rx Lion. You will be missed. Especially by a spoonful of Joss appointment, a wild voter appeared, Alex Nomadic the follow, all around me are familiar faces, Rx Johnston YT, Ben, Cloudy Explosive 2, Real, Gumball Waterson 1990, 19th, Hexhammer YJ, 
Hoodie Joe, Jojo Ate Your Taco, The Ultimate Catboy, Unanimous Umbreon, XJ or Zax, Young Copus, Yoil Bite, and Eagle Hawk 519. To summarize, here's who's still in and who's eliminated. Green means prize and red means eliminated. If you're eliminated, you won't be able to send me any more responses to upcoming ROFC prompts. Also, Samer Gamer is gaining a new supporter on the ROFC Discord. Me! That's his prize for coming up with that genius prize. Here are the three of the contestants' second responses. Impressively, Ed King got both of his responses above five. And here are the other three second responses. Object Show Author actually had both the worst response overall and the most controversial response overall. Interestingly, Samer Gamer's two responses differed by exactly one rating point. Now it's time to update the ROFC simulation. Let's see what it has in store for us now that we've reached the final five. But before I can show you the simulation output, I need to inform you that I renovated the simulation program again. Let's list off the changes. Number 1. The program now runs 10 million simulations rather than 1 million. Fortunately, this leads to more accurate results. Unfortunately, this means the program's runtime jumps from less than 2 minutes to more than 15 minutes. The program now takes into account the score inflation as ROFC progresses. ROFC 17 will have a 6x multiplier, ROFC 18 will have a 7x multiplier, ROFC 19 will have a 10x multiplier, and ROFC 20, the finale, will have a 15x multiplier. The source code for this simulator is available in the description if you guys want to play around with it. So, I redesigned the simulation slide again. Ed King has a 2.59% chance of getting 4th, and a 0.057% chance of getting 5th. With that all out of the way, it's unscripted reaction time. So as you can see, Ed King's chance of winning ROFC is only slightly greater -er than Object Show Author's chance of getting eliminated in the next episode. Additionally, Object Show Author's chance of reaching the podium in fact, Samer Gamer's chance of reaching the podium is less than Ed King's chance of winning ROFC. Alien Dude 321's chance of getting eliminated is greater than Ed King's chance of not getting the podium. In fact, Samer Gamer's chance of getting eliminated is greater than Ed King's chance of getting less than second. Also, look at that smooth transition from Alien Duke 321's chances to Object Show Author's chances. It's so beautiful. Stats time! I've decided to do stats every B episode now because ROFC 20B will be the finale, and I'm pretty sure some of you viewers are really hungry for stats. So let's do this! First up, Raw Ranks. As we can see, Alien Duke 321 is still dominant and is even the most stable. However, not only does Alien have Ed King to worry about, he also has Samer Gamer to worry about. Both Ed King and Samer Gamer have gotten in the podium in the last four prompts, whereas Alien Duke 321 only got in the podium in this prompt after a good run before ROFC 12, and also after three consecutive third to last place finishes in ROFC 13 through 15. Also, Anonymous and Object Show Author have some catching up to do, especially Object Show Author who hasn't gotten in the podium since ROFC 12. And now, Normalized Ranks. Ed King is still dominant after taking Alien's throne in ROFC 15. Samer Gamer, however, is definitely up there despite his instability. Once again, Anonymous and Object Show Author have some catching up to do. For the remaining 5 of you, it's time for ROFC 17. You 5 are now in the top 17% of ROFC. Hey, that's cool. The 17th prompt is, suppose we just found extraterrestrial life. If you could ask it one question, what would you ask? Remember that everyone gets to submit two responses and only the better one will count. Send in your response by July 4th, 2017 using the form of a description. I'll see you all in ROFC 17A!